I wanted to get up earlier this morning and make a good breakfast for the family, and I asked Jim to wake me up, but I guess he forgot to, so I'm going to have to kind of rush. All right, y'all, so I'm in the kitchen this morning trying to get the frame right. I'm in the, I'm in the kitchen this morning trying to um, get breakfast ready. But I'm running behind. I'm cooking up some sausages and um, some French toast sticks for the boys, some eggs for Jim, and a side of fruit and some juice or whatever. But I mean, I was just behind this morning because number one, I asked him to wake me up at 6:45, but he didn't. But that's my fault because I just should have. I should have um, set an alarm. And then when I came downstairs, I was ready to like just go straight crazy because the kitchen wasn't even clean. So I had to like wash dishes. I, I cannot cook in a dirty kitchen when I need to be over there using the, the sink and things and preparing food. Like, ugh, it, it just does something to my spirit. And so then I said, you know what? <laughs> Cleanliness is next to godliness. And I don't feel like a child of God when my house is messy and I be, I be going crazy. And I said to myself, self, we can't, we can't start this morning. We can't start early this morning when this man walked through the door, we not gonna do that. And so, you know, I did it. I just had to take a chill pill. Cause I really wanted to start, but you know, my fault, I should have set an alarm. That's not, that's not his fault. What is his fault is that dirt, the dirty kitchen. Kitchen dirt, but whatever. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. I made Julian's lunch. Um, trying to get up out of Dodge because he needs to be on time. Oh, what's in your agenda, Lord have mercy? No clue. Hey, Maximus. What's today's date? November what? 11? 12? 10? I don't even know. Yay! Julie made it to school on time. I know, I know you guys, I know I'm looking a mess right now, but hey, guess what? That's how I'm living my life. That's how I'm living my life. Let me just let me just throw my hair up in a bun for you guys, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. About to construct my wrap. I got a tomato wrap this time. Tomato something type wrap. Figured it would be better than the, the white one that I was getting. Maybe next time I'll try wheat, but it's it's a gradual step. What Baby steps. Is that? It's a taco shell, tortilla shell, or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know, but it's some type of shell. Mmm, delicious. Uh, this is it right here. Um, low in carbs. Low in carbs, 60 calorie wraps. Sun-dried tomato basil. Tastes pretty good. I mean, it's different, but it tastes good nonetheless, I think, still. Pretty good. Numbers. You're totally awesome. Totally awesome. You're totally awesome. Do you love me, little boy? Do you love me with your killer keys on top of your head? Because I love you. Mommy loves you. Jordan! Jordan! I feel like my legs look like a grasshopper's leg right now. I'm up. I'm up. What do you want me to do? You want me to play? You want me to go get you some baby food? <gasps> yes. Oh, oh, he says yes. He wants baby food. You want baby food? Is that what you want, Izzy? Well, I guess so. He says, I guess so, Mommy Dog. Don't you see me trying to pick the imaginary food up off of you? Oh, ain't nothing in there no more. Time to give him something to eat, y'all what happened to her within like two seconds she she got the towel and she wrapped herself in it now she can't get free okay mommy's gonna help you pretty girl I guess we can unroll you the way that you got rolled in there here we go Yay. Yay. I'm out I'm done silly girl silly girl Izzy, what are you doing? 
What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, huh? Where are you going? You going to the stove? Going to the stove? Is that what you're going to do? You going to the stove? Get it. Get it. Oh, get it, get it, get it. You coming over here to mommy? Yeah? Okay. I'm over here making their baby food really quick, and they know what's going on. She has perked up, and he is like, lady, I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. It's coming, you guys. It's coming. He said, I'm leaving this place. The wait is always extra long, and the service sucks. Goodbye. She says, I don't know about you, but I'm eating. Let me get to my chair. Table for one, please. I've got your food here. Today we have a little bit of pear and a nice little porridge. I'm sorry, sir, she sat down first. You're gonna have to wait. Let me see if I can do this with two hands. Awkward. All right. Mmm. Mmm. That's that feels very weird. Not left-handed. Mm. But it works. Okay. Okay. Mommy. Mommy's kind of shaky on the left hand. Okay. My left hand stay drunk. It just drunk. It just you know it could not pass the sobriety test. You know, it's shaking and stuff. Hold on now, hold on. It might get into a wreck. Here. Okay. Yeah, that's too weird. We're going to have to alternate. I shall have to alternate. Okay, sissy. Mm. Okay. Some for you. This is what we're doing right now. The twins ate. Jordan decided to get up out of the bumble herself. And Izzy is Maximus. Maximus, I can't I can't say anything if you keep making that loud noise. I'm trying to tell them what just happened. Maximus says he doesn't care what just happened. Okay. Maximus, what are you doing over there in that corner? The train car driver says, He has to hide his toys in the corner. Otherwise, brother I'm and not. sister will try and eat his toys. Right, Maximus? E now I'm just going to hang out with the babies. Um, let their food digest that they just ate. And then I'm going to make them a bottle and lay them down for a little nap. And that's normally the time. When I get up and um, take a shower and put my makeup on and do my hair, because it's enough time, it's a good it's a good hour for me to do whatever I need to do without me feeling like I'm neglecting them for too long. And Jim comes home at that time too, so I have a little bit of, I have a little bit of help. Y'all, I want to do something different with my hair. I think I'm gonna get a new weave, y'all, a new weave. Mommy, this is hair my trick. I want some curly hair. I'm thinking about ordering from that AliExpress, the Ali Moda. Because I need something curly that's going to go with my natural hair. Because I do not want to have another another Angelica Angelica doll moment. So, Mommy, I don't know. My <sighs> let me tell you. I was really about to let the devil use me. And I'm going to tell you why. This weather, this Virginia weather, number one, is just so different from a Florida type cold. You know, this this is this is winter to me. And maybe, you know, it's so depressing because I know that it's gonna be like a full long winter, but even like colder than this. I think it's like 60 degrees out. I'm I know, I know some of my northerners and, and people who are who are more acclimated to the weather. But you know, my bones is, is I got African bones and Florida bones. You know what I'm saying? 
the tropics is just in my soul down in my spirit i'm feeling very very like i don't want to say down but like very like lethargic lethargic and very just not excited about anything not even excited enough to like get up and take a shower or wash my hair and put on some makeup like i really had to force myself to do it today it's already two o'clock and i'm just now like really getting myself together i'm digressing i i, I am i'm digressing so anyway today i was just like you know what <laughs> I'm about to flat iron my hair because I'm just I just don't care. I don't care if I damage my hair. I'm gonna just shave it all off. I don't care. I'm ready for something new, you know, like just just screw my hair, just screw it. And then um the, the devil was really playing in my mind, like girl, yeah, girl, do it. Just do it, girl. Yeah, just flat out it, girl. You got good hair, girl. Real good hair. You flat out it's going to look silky straight like an Asian woman. You know, I even went through the whole process, y'all, which is why my hair is, is looking like this up top. Because I literally used a comb on my hair. Not a not a um a hot comb or anything. Calm down. <laughs> um I used um, a wide tooth comb, which I never do, y'all. I don't use combs in my head. So I detangled my hair and then I um, kind of put it up in a towel to let it dry, like 80% dry. And I'm telling y'all, I was just about to put some heat to it and something stopped me. Something stopped me, y'all. I don't know what stopped me. Maybe, maybe, maybe the hot shower finally kicked in and was like, girl, don't put that heat on your hair. You ain't ready for that. Because then I, I started thinking to myself, now, nah, girl, once you blow dry your hair, what you going to do? And I'm like, well, you know, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. And once you fly down your hair, what are you going to do if it comes out and you don't like it? What if your hair is like all different lengths and things? Because, I mean, you did chop your own hair off. It is not trimmed the proper way. So, you know, the 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 logical side, Jesus, started to speak to me. You know, was just speaking to me. And then, you know, the devil was still trying to use me, y'all. He was like, oh, just do it. Oh, just do it. You're going to look great. You're going to look great. Your hair going to be laid, girl. Your hair going to be laid. Girl. And then I thought to myself, as I was parting myself to the side, I started pressing upon and rubbing upon my Angelica patch. Yes, baby, yes. And I said, now, you know what? I, I ain't going to be able to flat iron that. Mm, 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 mm. Don't let the devil use you, okay? Because he almost used me today. He almost did. He almost did. But it's okay. You guys want to see a magic trick? You want to see Afro turn into a nice curl? This is what you do. You ready? Look hard. Step one. What you got to do is you got to get yourself a heaping glob of gel. And then you got to apply like so. And you got to saturate the whole piece of hair and i'm not going to do it with tiny pieces of hair i've got a big glob of hair here do you see like so and what you got to do is is you got to smooth it in there and you got to make sure it's all and it's all coated and then you got to rake your fingers through just like so rake it through and this process is just called finger combing. And when you finger comb it, you're just getting the product all throughout your hair. Get in there. You'll get in there too. And it's just also just, it's getting the product in there. And what you're going to do is, is then, then you just going to let it, you're going to let it, you're going to let it go. And it's got to curl up just like so. But when you got too many pieces, you're going to have to pull it apart. Pull it apart like so. And then your hair's just got to shrivel up there. You see? And then if you got a little strangly pieces, you just like so. You just pull them and you let them spiral back. And that's how I do it. 
you know, give it a little help. If it needs a little help, you can twist it around your finger like this, and there you are. And that's it. And you continue with that whole process. Anyway, all done. I gotta check on my babies. Jordan, Princess, please don't tell anybody that you've been in your pajamas all day. I'm very, very sorry. And I didn't even, like, do her hair. Her curl is still there from yesterday, y'all. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I bathe them every day, though. But today, it's just been one of those days, y'all. Yeah. Yes. Show them. Show them, show them what you're doing. See, I'm cooking some food. Uh, I'm about to get um, Julia Childs on y'all, and I'm about to cook something delicious. I'm about to crack this green egg, but I don't have no ham. But it's still going to be very, very, very delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, and then first you crack the egg, and, and then you got to uh, inspect it and make sure the egg is still an egg because you got to make sure you're cooking with an egg. And then you're going to look over your shoulder. Make sure nobody's trying to steal your secret recipe. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, she's looking for some in secret ingredients. She's looking for some seasonings. There's no basil over there. Nope, nothing. Get back to cooking, Jordan. Jordan's in the bouncer, y'all. Look, my laundry is on the hockey table. Hence, we are getting rid of the hockey table because there is no hockey table being played upon the hockey table. It's become a laundry table. <laughs> Jordan's in the bouncer. She does not like this thing. She normally gets scared and starts crying, but she's doing good right now. Normally, she would not even let me out of her sight in this thing. She's like, uh-uh, I'm about to go to the store and never come back. Mommy, save me. Cause she breaking it down. I think she might break it. She might break it, y'all. Oh my god, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to see her face. Her legs look like they were doing the James Brown mashed potato. You doing the mashed potato? Get it, Jordan. Get it. 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 Get it. Woo, doggy. Woo, doggy. Woo, doggy. Woo, doggy. Yeah. On the computer. Jim says it's supposed to flurry tonight. It's supposed to have flurries tonight, I tell you. It's supposed to be 30 degrees in the morning. This is why my, my spirit is my, I'm not claiming depression, but it is definitely like, I don't know, I'm just feeling like tired. Like Miss Sophia, somebody need to help me put some things in my basket. Who going to Alaska? So I am, hey y'all, I'm about to make some chicken alfredo. I'm just seasoning up my meat and letting it kind of defrost because it was still kind of frozen. And I hate putting frozen um, anything in the pan unless it's meant to be prepared that way. What's the matter, Maximus? That child, he, he don't ever know what's wrong with him. So, I wish I could prop this up some type of way. So, the first ingredient to any meal is, you guessed it, a sip of wine. Delish. Now, if you aren't a drinker, that's fine. It just relaxes me. It allows me to enjoy the process of cooking and unwind from a long, hard day of work. Yeah, cause y'all know I work. I'll put on a uniform, but I work. 
and um I don't know. It just it it just like wine and cooking just goes together, and it's an Italian meal. Normally, I um I don't really like to drink during the weekday just because it, I don't know. It kind of makes drinking just so not special when you drink during the week. So I kind of save it for the weekend to have like a glass of wine or whatever. But since it's family day and Jim got off early today, and I'm making an Italian meal, I say, hey, what the heck? Why not? Oh, one day I got to get Jim uh, to make this uh, Italian salad, which is uh, probably best served during the summertime. But it's the tomato, basil, and mozzarella. Oh my God. It's so delicious. I'm like salivating right now, but anyway. So, oh, <laughs> back to the cooking show. Cooking with Valencia. How you doing? Um, I... If you're like me, I'm kind of weird about chicken in my kitchen. So I don't like to, I know Auntie Fee. Y'all watch Auntie Fee? She will put her chicken in the sink and um, have it swirling around. I'm sure she has disinfected it, but still, I don't like to do that. I've, I um, cut my chicken up and I have a specific pot that I um, rinse my chicken in and season it in. And um, that's what I'm doing right here. I've seasoned it up with some... What is this? McCormick's Italian and some onion powder. Uh, I use sea salt, not the regular salt because a little bit goes a long way and I feel like you get more flavor out of this. And some black pepper. Oh, garlic powder. And I also threw in my secret ingredient, yes. I'm going to share my family secret with y'all. Bam! <laughs> Tomato, basil, garlic seasoning by Miss Dash. Just a little bit. Just to throw it in there. Because some people do like to dice up tomatoes and put it in their Alfredo. I like it, but you know my family's kind of weird. So I do it the seasoned way. And then I throw in about a teaspoon of vinegar that's to tenderize my chicken um probably about a tablespoon of virgin olive oil extra virgin olive oil and then another teaspoon of water just to kind of um balance the vinegar because you don't want to taste vinegar all up in your chicken it's just a, it's a tenderizer i almost forgot to vlog so i did the noodles i sauteed my shrimp and mushrooms separately and i seasoned them up the same way to the chicken um after they were cooked i just drizzled a little bit of the um, alfredo sauce in there to mix it and set aside because i can't mix it with my my family so, so I put my chicken in and now I'm just gonna put my sauce in it. This, the chicken. So this is the finished product. My family's playing y'all, okay, playing. So this is the uh, chicken Alfredo, but trust me, I season that bad boy down. It is so delicious. And see, the sauce isn't even like a white creamy sauce anymore. It's got all the seasonings from the chicken because I heavily seasoned the chicken because I know I'm not going to try and season Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce that I use comes out of a jar. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. um, versus making it homemade. It's a big process. Ain't nobody got time for that. The Bertoli Alfredo sauce. Trust me, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm about to taste this, y'all. I'm about to dive in. I'm going to try and get me some scrimp on there. I'm gonna try to put everything on there. Scrimp, piece of chicken, all of that, all of that, okay. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's hot too, it's hot. Jim, have you noticed that Maximus is not sitting in his mm -hmm. booster seat anymore? Mm -hmm. He wants to be a big boy, like his brother. All I hear is mouse. Smacking on my food. Delish, everybody? Delish? Mm -hmm. Delish? Yeah. Is it good, Maximus? Yeah. I can pick it up. You have it too far away from you. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good job. Baby. Getting a shot of your booty. What is that? 
are these people doing? What are y'all doing? What? There's gonna be a new transformer yeah, baby? Yeah, because at the end of the, the battle said, we should meet again, that was, that was just gonna be another movie with that same background. True, that's true. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty awesome. Ooh, you yawning? And it's gonna be another- Where's the remote uh, control? Uh, I don't know where Max put it. Maximus, where'd you put the remote, baby? Am I the black smoke controller? Yes, yes the black, the remote black control. smoke controller is. Maximus, you had it. <laughs> he had it. Maximus had it. You and ain't no good, Max. My brother's having it. My boys are just my growing up. Your haircut it looks me. really good, Julian. Yeah, we want to see it. It's there. Yeah. Oh, y'all, they watching it again? Yeah, they missed most of it. All right, love y'all. Yes. Right now. Right now. That's awesome. He says he needs a hug too, Daddy. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, y'all. Good night. Good night. Never wearing a shirt. So. You want an almond? Let's see if you actually like <laughs> Are you being serious? <laughs> Do you know how much almonds cost? You better pick that back up. Where'd it go? No, I'm not a baby bird. I'm not a baby I'm not a baby bird. Stop it. Seriously, stop it. I can't believe you just did that. Why would you do that? Almonds cost money, y'all. A bag of almonds cost six dollars. Okay. Six dollars. So that was one penny right there. Use a lie. You gave the baby the bath, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who eats food like that on camera? Don't nobody want to hear nobody crunching. Oh. I'm not really crunching though. You're not really crunching. Mm mm. Yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all. It's cold. We're going to see you after the next vlog, okay? <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye.